I get asked two questions very frequently from movie makers. The first one, what is my favorite type of microphone? And number two, how do I use them to make them sound good in my movies? So I was thinking, let's make an episode and dedicate ourselves to answering all these questions while at the same time, we're going to do a product review of the new Ceremonic UW Mic 10 wireless lavalier. There are many type of microphones and each of them have their own polar patterns. Example. You have the dynamic microphone that you use in your karaoke. And then you have your shotgun mic, which you see the audio guy always carry around and pointing it to the actor and actresses. You also have studio condenser mic that looks like this for studio recording works. My favorite has to be the wireless lavalier mic. How do they work? Very simple. You always get a transmitter unit, which we call the body pack, which is attached to the lavalier microphone which is going to transmit the signal to the receiver which you're going to connect to your camera and that's where audio is recorded now the good point of having a wireless lavalier microphone is your subjects can move around freely during shooting and the best part is you don't need to have the audio guy following him everywhere making sure that the boom mic is pointing to its mouth one of the best advantages of the wireless lavalier is that you will have a polar pattern about the size of the head of your actor or actresses. That way it minimizes background noise. So now you know how the lavalier microphone works. Let's find out how the ceremony UW Mic 10 fares. Good point number one. The ceremony UW Mic 10 is made in China. And is there anything I can tell you about made in China products? Most of them have got crappy manual or boxes. Not this one. I'm pretty impressed. Check this out. There's another box. And what I like about it, check this out. It's got Velcro. Look at that. Packaging is beautiful. And the user manual. Perfect English. Good point number two. The UW Mic 10 supports two transmitters to one receiver. Oh my god, this is so cool. No other wireless lavalier that I've used before has this feature. Good point number three. Our workhorse thus far is the Sennheiser EW series. Beautiful mic. But one of the biggest problems that we face is that the transmitter unit looks identical to the receiver unit and many times we got that swapped connecting the receiver unit to the actor hate that not with the ceremony uw mic 10 as you can see this is the transmitter unit that goes to the actor single antenna and this is the unit that you connect to your field mixer double antenna if you are that stupid to get this mixed up, go get a new job. <laughs> Good point number four, robustness. This microphone is really built robustly. Solid. Good point number five. But throughout this review, you're probably gonna hear me comparing the ceremonic microphone to the EW100 a lot. Now, one of the things that I really hate the most about the EW100 Sennheiser unit is that the battery compartment always accidentally flaps open. Hates this. Like Borat says, it's hanging out like a dog's mouth. So you always have your actors running around with this door opening and showing the battery. Now with the Ceremonic UW Mic 10, you do not have this problem because it comes with a beautiful battery compartment that's like a machine gun's magazine. Good point number six. 
It has an auto frequency matching feature between the transmitter and the receiver unit so you don't have to go figure out which frequency to use now. Simple. Go to your transmitter unit and look for the part of the menu that says match with receiver unit. Good point number seven. The buttons on this are so easy to use. You have the off switch, press it longer, turns it off. Turns it on. The on off switch is also the mute button. Press it one time. As you can see, the LED blinks in red. That's muted. Press it one time. Unmute. Plus minus button is to scroll through all the features. And it cycles itself. If you want to make a change, all you need to do is press the set button slightly longer. And there you go, you can toggle the settings, choose one that you like and press on it briefly. Good point number eight. Oh, the price is really cool. US dollar $3.99 compared to the other brands and models. Good point number nine. Battery life of the UW Mic 10 is truly impressive. The transmitter, you can power it with two double A's for about eight hours, continuous usage. While the receiver, you get about four hours continuous usage on two double A batteries. Good point number 10. Impressive audio quality. From this point onwards, all the audio that you're listening to comes from the UW Mic 10. And at this part, this is where I want to show you how you can hide your wireless lavalier when you're doing your filming work. And because I've got two units, I've placed one, but two units of transmitter. This is group B, which is channel B. So I'm going to put this here so that it's always picking up my audio. And at the same time, this is group A. So what you want to do is technique of hiding your microphone. If you look in all my previous episodes, you never see a mic hanging from my collar. Plug this in. And what you want to do is clip this onto the belt. You can hide this at the back, somewhere that it will not show in the camera. And what you do is stick this under the clothes. Right? You might want to tell the audio guy to remove his headphone first, otherwise it's going to go deaf. The first way is that you can clip it down here. This is what we call the talk show setup. You can see the capsule. Make sure it faces down, so that way when your host or your subject talks, it will not be so affected. Another way is to hide the capsule in your clothing. And you've got to do this carefully, otherwise you're going to get a lot of clothing rustle. And the trick is, to remove it from the clip. So I'm going to mute this first so that you do not hurt the ear of your audio guy. So got this muted, as you can see, the channel B is still picking up my audio. Remove this clip. Remove this clip from the mic capsule. And what you do now, take a white piece of paper tape or cloth tape, Stick it this way. Make sure that the capsule faces out from the tape so that it's still able to pick up your voice. What you do now is go into your clothing. Stick it this way. Now here's the simple rule to prevent clothes rustle. Make sure that your capsule touches your skin. Your skin has no rustling sound because it's not clothing. Do not wear something inside. 
and then the capsule will be rubbing on that clothing. So you got to make sure that it's stuck to the clothing and not to the body. If you were to do this, stick it to the body, I've seen some audio guy doing this. This is not good. That way the clothing will be rubbing on the capsule. I'm going to show you how it sounds like when that happens. Russell. Right? So I'm going to mute this. Stick it here. So if there's any rustling, it will be minimized. Is there any rustling this way? No. Cool. That's how you mic your height, your lavalier microphone. Good point 11. One important point that you want to be picking the brands that you use your microphone on, you got to make sure that the manufacturer has an impressive range, not just making good wireless lavalier. So if you look at the Ceremonic, visit their website, they've got an impressive range of microphone products from boom mic, shotgun mic, wireless lavalier, check it out. Good point 12. Director, can you still hear me? Loud and clear, loud and clear. Impressive distance. I am like a hundred meters line of sight away from the camera crew. You can still hear me, right? Yep, still loud and clear. Without line of sight, I still get about 30 meters. Love the range. Bad point number one. Limited frequency range to choose from. It transmits from 614 megahertz to only 696 megahertz. Bad point number two. Now the receiver unit, some of you may find that it has a pretty complicated user manual because it cycles through the interfaces for two units of transmitter. So you have to scroll a lot. Bad point number three. Every movie maker and audio guy would have their favorite microphone. And these two are mine. This is self-made. I love it because the capsule is really sensitive and at the same time the robustness of the 3.5mm jack. And this one is a Sennheiser, also very good, but the problem is too sensitive. So these two are my favorite mics. Here's the bad news. Neither of them work with the UW Mic 10. So the UW Mic 10 only works with its own microphone. So I actually wrote to Ceremonic and they say they are aware of this problem. So they're hoping that with the future model, they can support more microphone capsule. In the meantime, if you spoil this, you have to get another one. But I have a solution. The solution is get yourself a piece of cellophane tape, twirl it so that it becomes a string, and then take this and wrap this around the top end of your 3.5 mm jack twirl this the trick is to make sure that this jack doesn't sit all the way into your uw mic 10 if that happens you will not be picking up any audio so what you want to do is pull it out a little bit and to do that the cellophane tape will prevent your jack from sitting all the way through so as you can see this will allow you to use any microphone that you want. Bad point number four. I don't understand why the mic capsule needs to be this big. This is a crazy size compared to the Sennheiser and compared to my self-made capsule. This is just too big. Bad point number five. There is no volume control on the transmitter. You have to control everything on your receiver. This means you are not able to do an open mic or closed mic system. Refer to this episode and you understand what it means by open mic and closed mic. So you may want to invest in an audio mixer. So, in conclusion, the Ceremonic UW Mic 10, if you ask me, is an excellent system to begin with. It's professional grade. At the same time, you can use it as a consumer on consumer devices. Two units of transmitter to one unit of receiver is something we have not 
heard of. You've got to be careful about audio bumping when you're using something like that. Maybe we can dedicate director an episode on how to film with a script with no audio bumping. That's an art in movie making. Matter to you? Of course it matters. Yeah, I'm going to take better care of you from now on. You're not taking care of Daisy anymore. She's leaving you. Nonsense! I am, though! No, 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 she is not leaving me. Daisy. Certainly not. For a common swindler like you. Mr. Gatsby, exactly who are you, anyhow? You see, I have made a small investigation into your affairs. You're one of my wolf shines, but... So, if I were you, and you haven't bought yourself a wireless lavalier before, this would be a great time to buy yourself one because it's just $3.99. You can buy it online in a few places. Until then, I'll catch you in the next episode of the Beyond Photography Show.